Hello, in this channel, I'm gonna be sharing with you different DIYs that you're not only gonna use them for yourself, but you're gonna be able to sell them. My goal is to turn your hobbies into a business. Here we are again, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I make uh, my labels for my product. Um, I make the bath bombs and I have labels like this that I make in different sizes. Okay, I also have a uh, recipe on uh, how to make bath bombs with CBD or without CBD. If you wanna see them, I will go, to, go ahead and put a link right above here. Okay, but for now, the, the items that we're gonna be needing in any cutter, I have the Cricut and then you also need an inkjet uh, printer and and the paper for labels and stickers and i'm going to put the um all the items that i'm using in the description box below so the first thing that we're going to do it's uh we're going to upload upload our image and this is the this is the image that i'm going to use right here right in here but i'm going to sh show you how to upload it you're going to go to browse then you're going to look for your image let's pick this one you're going to say open and then it's going to go here uh, the system is going to ask you if you want it simple uh, medium or complex and we're going to go complex and we're going to press continue when we get here let me minimize the size of it when we get here we're just going to go continue and these are the two ways that you can uh, save it. So you're going to save it as a print and then a cut image. So when you're here, you're going to go save. And there's your image right there. Okay. But for this one, uh, I'm, I'm going to use this image right here. So we're going to put it in. I'm going to make it smaller. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get shapes and I'm going to need two circles because I want to make my image uh, a round to use um, use it in a different shape then you're going to pull out the two shapes or whatever it is that you want to use so I'm going to go ahead and, and add my two circles and one put put one aside now I want this image to be maybe about there yeah. and I want and I'm just going to bring this circle in here and cover the size of the the size of what I want to have in my image. So right, whatever size it is, you're gonna go ahead and cut it. And then you're gonna grab everything right there and you're going to go slice. So your slice is gonna be in the bottom over here. You're gonna press slice. And what that is gonna do, we're gonna, we're gonna separate there's a circle right there okay so we can go ahead and delete this and delete this okay uh and then we're going to go ahead and put words so i want to put on mine uh let's see here text and i'm just going to go ahead and put um lavender and i want to put cvd there it is okay so now we have it there we're going to bring it like on the side and we want to put everything in the a line in the center just like that then we're going to make it smaller and bring it in and put it wherever it is that you want to have it okay like i want mine right there and i probably want to change the color lavender is purple so we're going to go purple or maybe even that or even that I think I kind of like the one in the middle. So there it is. Okay, so now I have it here. I'm going to bring it together and I'm going to flatten it. And there it is. Okay. We're going to go here and we're going to make it 2.125 and enter. And that's going to change the whole size. Okay. Then we have our circle. We're going to make this circle white. And we're also going to make it 
2.125. Okay. Then we're going to grab our image and we're going to put it right over the circle, just like so. Right there. Now we're going to grab everything together, flatten it again. There it is. So now we're going to go up here and we're going to say make it. And we're going to let right up here, we're going to go up to 12, apply, and there you have 12. 12, um, Im 12 images, okay? So now we're gonna go continue. And at this point, we're gonna grab our label paper, put it upside down on your inkjet. And the one I have is a uh, HP MB 5530. So that's what I'm using for my labels. So we're gonna go here, it says, print image on a printer of your choice. So right here, I'm gonna send it to my printer and I'm gonna choose the HP MB 5530, no bleed print. When you add bleed, it makes the letters so thick that you can't even read them. So you, you wanna make sure that you go no bleed. So it's printing right now, and I'm getting my mat for the Cricut ready for the cutting. Now that it's been printed, we're gonna go ahead and align it. Make sure that you align it perfectly on the line. And I have a, a, a very uh, bright light right now. So I'm gonna turn it off, otherwise it uh, is not going to register there the marks the way it's supposed to. So I'm gonna turn it away and I'm gonna bring my, my mat inside. I'm gonna go here and then I'm gonna go here and it's gonna start res registering this. The black around it is the, the marks. So it's gonna look for all the marks and it's gonna start printing. Okay, there it is. We're gonna get it out. And all that we're basically gonna do is let me get my little tool over here. We're gonna go ahead and grab this out right there. And we're gonna be pulling out on the on the paper the, the label that we don't need. And there you go. There you have it. So you can go ahead and use them. I'm gonna put a picture of the other ones that I made so you, you can see the different ones that you can make. But uh, other than that, that's all for me. I hope this um, video was helpful to you. May the Lord bless you today and every day. Be safe until next time. Thank you. Mm -hmm.